Because a lot of these other YouTubers and stuff, they get shout outs, they get cosigns and all this shit. No, nigga. I did it by my damn self. Before Pretty Boy Fredo would clock in over 3.5 million subscribers on YouTube, 800,000 on Instagram, a quarter million on Twitter, and another half a million on Twitch at the time of this recording. This what y'all been waiting on? Is this what y'all boys been waiting on? Before Fredo would go viral with his videos, Girlfriend Throws PS4 in Pool, Marriage Proposal Gone Wrong, Racism Experiment, and Took a Kid from the Streets on a Shopping Spree. What's up, Fredo? What's up? You know who I am? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking with this. I'm fucking with it. Yeah, I'm fucking with it. Let's try it on now. Before Fredo celebrated hitting over 1 million subscribers by getting a tattoo of his avatar from NBA 2K. This guy started it all. He started it all, my YouTube career. Before Pretty Boy Fredo proposed to his little lady Jasmine, not once, not twice, but three times. Let's go. Let's go. Now, from what I can tell, around the same time, BF versus GFs, Jesse and Gina decided to quit. Pretty Boy Fredo and Jasmine stepped right in to take over the couple pranking niche on YouTube. But it didn't start out that way, with him first getting into YouTube through gameplay of NBA 2K, a hobby he was actually embarrassed to tell his friends all about. At the time of this recording, it's a pretty exciting time for him and Jasmine. They recently announced that they are expecting a little girl together named Ava. Fredo seems like he's over the moon and has found new motivation to be the best father he can be, which has led him to making some pretty revealing videos about his own childhood, his years going through the foster care system, and the adoptive family who saved his life. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Pretty Boy Fredo prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now you guys requested this video, in fact a shit ton of you have, so here you go. Also, I gotta put in a plug for my near and dear friend Landon, who you probably know for most amazing top 10. He's also a guy who grew up in foster care and getting married in about a week. Well, as an early wedding gift, I decided to plug his new channel, Top 10 Gaming, a link is down below, hit subscribe. Alright, now let's get into Pretty Boy Fredo. Pretty Boy Fredo was born Alfredo Villa on August 20th, 1993 in Palm Beach, Florida to unfit parents. When I was just three months old, I was given up by my mom and dad. His biological mother Angela is of African American descent and his father an illegal immigrant from Costa Rica living in America. Well they abandoned Alfredo and his older sisters Tara and Sylvia when he was just three months old. They were found by police or child services who deemed the home unlivable and there were no other relatives who could take care of the children so they were put in the foster care system. Foster homes they didn't give a fuck. They didn't care if I was dead or alive. Alfredo and his older sisters bounced from home to home around the Florida area with no direction, no sense of home and no genuine love. This was an awfully tough upbringing for these kids and led to a pretty dark time for young Alfredo. He's made a pretty emotional video about this journey, you should definitely check out the full thing. It's a real tearjerker, I'll leave a link down below. How could you bring a kid into this world and not love them like, how, how could you do this to any kid? Despite his hardships, it seems like he was a pretty smart kid. I mean, look at this pic of him playing chess. It seems that it was in his early to mid teens that Fredo finally had a ray of hope. A couple in Orlando adopted him out of the foster care system. They also requested to adopt his sister, but she declined their offer. Fredo out of foster care in a bad, very bad situation. He had absolutely no clothes, uh, hand-me-down shoes. Uh, he really didn't have nothing in life. From there, it seems Fredo's life began to change in many ways for the better. He began to put down roots, he played both basketball and football through high school, and on top of this he picked up the nickname Pretty Boy Fredo, cause he's too cool of a dude to go by Alfredo, and the girls, well they called him Pretty Boy. Then in 19, Fredo, well he decided to pay a visit to his biological parents. Mother, she can't even read. She's living off welfare, and my biological father, he's an illegal immigrant. He's working underneath the table like... With no going back, Fredo started moving forward. He was enrolled at the University of Central Florida where he majored in marketing, but still, he wasn't entirely sure of what direction he wanted to go in for the future. Now, my major, my major is very difficult right now because I am on the edge of what I really want to do. Before he had started posting videos to YouTube, he had no idea how big and powerful the platform was. When he first started doing it, he was embarrassed if people in his real life were to find out what he had been doing in his spare time. That's probably the world wouldn't get to know or see much of Pretty Boy Fredo's personal life, 
back during his early uploads. By the time he began to post regularly, we're talking 2015, he was at an all time low. He was struggling in school, he had no job, and he was broke. The only fun outlet he could really afford was to play video games in his bedroom, and with a YouTube channel that he initially started back in 2009, he decided to upload his gameplay. Now let's take a look at the oldest video that exists on Pretty Boy Fredo's channel, and this was uploaded back in 2014. This is um, 2K15 for Xbox 360. I um, I just got it at midnight. Slowly but surely, he began showing more of his face and started to implement some original ideas on his channel. How the fuck did I miss a wide open shot? Man, this game's some bullshit, man. In August of 2015, he decided to mix things up with a story time video detailing a threesome he was involved in that went terribly wrong. I hopped out the bed, ran straight to the bathroom, hanging off the side of the toilet, puking everywhere, bro. Fredo was starting to see the potential of YouTube and he began increasing his upload schedule to at least two a week back in 2015. He would continue to produce more gameplay and story time videos, including My First Fight, My First Girlfriend, Getting Jumped by 16 People, and How He Lost His Virginity and More. When he hit 100,000 YouTube subscribers, he did a Q&A, answering his fans questions like if he was a tit or an ass man. I'll let him answer that burning question. That booty, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that what I like, man. He'd often spoke about his girlfriend in his videos, and as things continued to progress, Fredo decided to introduce her as a personality on his show. Fredo, man, aka Fredo two times, and I got my baby with me. My baby Jasmine, as always. Not only was Jasmine a new addition, but pretty boy Fredo started to embrace a ton of changes to his channel. He started doing different gameplay videos of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5. He also began doing some social experiment videos and vlogs, and with these changes came more and more views and subscribers. All of a sudden, pretty boy Fredo hit 300,000 subscribers and decided to celebrate by picking himself up a fresh set of new wheels. Or maybe his first. I don't know. I'm just getting. Nice scarf. It's his first. Whoa. Like I said, man, a year ago, I didn't have nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you guys absolutely changed my life. For real. Yeah. Nice Camaro, bro. I picked myself up a Ford Mustang at 1 million. Took me a little longer. Slow and steady. He started up a popular series, One vs. One, and then things really took off for Fredo when he began incorporating prank videos as a regular upload on his channel. There was his cheating on his girlfriend prank, which would be a fan favorite. There was angry girlfriend, his first proposal. Then Jasmine began pranking him that she was pregnant. Now remember kids, be careful what you prank for. It only took pretty boy Fredo about 4 months to climb from 1 million to 2 million subscribers, then another 2 months to hit 3 million. When that happened, well he had an announcement to make. But like the boy who cried wolf, he had to state that this wasn't a prank, otherwise his audience, they wouldn't believe him. We are having a baby! With this big announcement, the couple they launched their second channel, Fredo and Jazz, which is fast approaching another 1 million subscribers. And the pair, well they just seem to be killing it in general. As for the rest of the story, well, you'll have to check it out on his channel because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCrad and we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. You guys have been requesting this one and I hope you enjoyed it. We hope to do more YouTubers so we need your suggestions down below. Let us know what's going on. Also check out these two bits. See you guys in the next one. Right? Yeah. Okay, bye.